we see children, young adults, up to the age of 25. It's an important service because the children and young adults that we have um, have life-limiting, life-shortening conditions and they have high medical need, which means that within the home, within the nursery, within school, some of these uh, places can't look after them and provide the respite that we can. So this is just the way that we monitor the levels of oxygen in the blood. There's a, a sensor on the back which will do the measuring for us. So when you switch the machine on, we need to change our settings to the appropriate settings for each child that we've got in. Shane's lower limit for his oxygen levels can be 85%, so I just need to change that on the machine or else it'll keep alarming and saying they're not high enough. This reading Shane's heart rate. He has a lower heart rate than perhaps you or I would have, so again, we can lower his limits there. For us, it's about the child or young adult having a good time. So they don't come here so the parents can rest. They come here to have fun. And the bonus is, is that the families can recharge the batteries. They love it when they're here, you know, and get like a, a different experience every time. There's always something different for them and interacting with different people and I think that's confidence building for them. Mainly Emma has music. You just, if you've got music on or you're singing or you want to dance with her, she'll quite happily put her hand out and dance with you. Um, and I think that's what they try, they try and like do for her. They try and like everything's like associated with like a music. So bath time on the unit is one of the most pleasurable times. One of the highlights of the it day. is. It's it's really really important for all of our families, particularly the older children with the um, dystrophy type illnesses. They really get a lot of benefit from the baths. They often have a lot more movement once they get into the water than they do when they're in their chairs. A bit more control for them, which they don't normally have. Each bathroom's got an Arjo bath in and they're really good because they move up and down um, so we can get them to the height of the, whichever staff are looking after the children and young adults. We also sometimes do physio in the bath because obviously we can make the water nice and warm and our physiotherapist Hilary comes in and spends a lot of time with the children. She can get a wider range of movements with them than she might do outside of the bath. We can change the temperature of the water as it comes into the bath to suit the child or young adult. We've got a lovely jacuzzi feature on which a lot of our, especially the young adults, yeah. seem to like and that doesn't work on one of our baths no. anymore. We've had these baths since we opened in 2003. They've got great features but some of them are starting to fail now that they're so old. We really like to give the children new experiences when they come to St Oswald's and that includes getting them out and about on trips and outings. There's been recent research that children who are under 22 kilograms, um, if they're in their special buggies and they're in an accident, they aren't robust enough to withstand it so they can get really seriously injured. So we've had to start looking at really specialist seats to make sure that we get something that was supportive and safe for the children. Our children really do get some lovely enjoyment out of activities when they're doing them together when otherwise you don't often get a reaction from them but some of the activities that we do make, really do make them smile, make a massive difference to them. If we look at these, this sort of chair, um, it's not like any chair you can go and buy from Halfords. You've got your lovely head support, you've got little extra support around here, you've got extra support under the legs. So it's really, and this is a very special bit which really stops the children dropping forward when they've got no trunk control. We can add bits at the front and bits in at the back, so it's nice to be able to alter it for lots of different children with lots of different problems. We haven't had them out for such a long time. We do lots of activities in the unit, but because we haven't got these facilities, these car seats at the moment, we can't take them out.
trauma it seems to be like constant, there's always a feed, there's always medicines, there's always something going on that you need to be doing and um, so it's really great that we get that space, that time, just, just be mum and dad. No, not mum and dad, Leanne and Michael. It means the world to us that I get that because it's hard, it is a hard life. Without St Oswald's I would probably have lost the plot a little while ago, so it's, it's great.